Am Yisrael and all of the wonderful supporters that we have that Baruch Hashem are helping us do amazing things. I'm getting some uh, pictures and uh, videos and voice notes from uh, different people that Baruch Hashem have uh, received the uh, the gifts, the Mishloach um, Manot and Matanot Lev Yonim that uh, we're sending uh, in Eretz Yisrael, all of these Tzadikim in Eretz Yisrael uh, really know how to um, show gratitude and uh, it's uh, really wonderful, not that we're necessarily looking for gratitude, but it's uh, it's nice to see um, how much uh, you know you could help people and how much you guys are helping people with uh, your donations and support, Baruch Hashem. Uh, so, uh, you know, we have a Bezal Hashem, our um, Purim is uh, tomorrow. Uh, for some of you it's that are in different countries, it's in a matter of you know, a few hours, you're already beginning the first part of Purim, which is the fast of Estel. Uh, starts in the morning and continues until after the reading of the Megillah. After the reading of the Megillah, uh, even though the fast ends uh, before the Megillah uh, is read, uh, the tradition is not to eat until after the reading of the Megillah, after you've heard the Megillah. Um, if somebody's very weak, they could uh, get a drink or something like that. But uh, generally speaking, it's best to wait until after the reading of the Megillah to um, complete the fast. Uh, after that, you could eat whatever you uh, want, as long as it's kosher. Uh, it does not have to be meat. It could be uh, dairy, it could be parv. It could be meat, whatever you want. Uh, the the main meal of Purim is the following day. It's on Friday uh, in the morning is when we're going to do it this year because uh, of obviously Shabbat. So uh, the uh, reading of the Megillah is a uh, obligation on both men and women and anyone that's uh, above the age of 12 for women and 13 for, uh, for men. But this year, Rav uh, Yitzchak Yosef Sheikhye uh, paskent uh, that uh, due to the coronavirus danger, uh, that whether you believe in it or don't believe in it, agree with it, disagree with it, none of that really matters. There's a leniency that uh, women do not need to go to the Bet Knesset to hear the Megillah this year. Uh, and that's why many Bet Knesset all over the world are not doing the typical uh, reading, uh, multiple readings of the Megillah uh, like they usually do every year because typically a husband and a wife cannot attend uh, shul at the same time and uh, leave their kids home and so on. So typically most shuls have multiple readings, one after the other, with a little bit of a break in between to allow the people to arrive. Uh, but uh, this year I've noticed that uh, many shuls are not having that. They're not having the, uh, the second reading on the Thursday night. Uh, some are doing multiple readings for Friday, uh, but uh, the Thursday night readings, mo most of the places that I've seen, uh, or really all the places that I've seen are only doing a single reading because many women are simply not uh, going to go, um, you know, to, uh, to hear the Megillah. Uh, you could uh, read it uh, from your chumash at home, uh, to your kids, to yourself, uh, you could listen to it online if you'd like. It's not fulfilling the mitzvah, but nonetheless, if you enjoy the mitzvah, if you like the Megillah and so on, it's definitely good to do that. Uh, as far as the, um, the Megillah is uh, read on Thursday night, then you go home, eat, relax, do what you need to do, is uh, try to study as much Torah as you can. Uh, make sure there's no arguing. Purim is a auspicious time to receive salvation from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but... As we all know, when the man and the woman have uh, the uh, merit of having Shlom Bayit, then the Shechina shows up. And when the Shechina shows up, it heals all wounds. But if there's no Shlom Bayit, the Shechina leaves. So the most important thing is to make sure there's no fighting, arguing, bickering, uh, all of that stuff that uh, unfortunately people waste a lot of their time doing. Uh, make sure not to do that on Purim or at all, but nonetheless on Purim if you want your prayers to be answered. Uh, then you have the Megillah reading on uh, Friday morning. Uh, many shuls are doing it multiple times in the morning for the uh, the crowd that uh, pray at Nets. 
uh, or guys that are praying a little later and even um, some of them are doing it in the afternoon uh, we put on tefillin because uh, uh, Purim is not considered a Yom Tov so we put on tefillin uh, as far as work is concerned you are allowed to work but it's not recommended uh, to work on this day it's an auspicious day to learn Torah to do mitzvot to, uh, to enjoy to have a good time and also you have several mitzvot to uh, fulfill uh, one of them is after you read the uh, uh, hear the Megillah on Friday morning, you have to make sure to uh, to go home and have a meal, and the meal uh, should have meat and wine. Should have meat and wine. Now, if you detest meat, if you are one of these people that is disgusted by meat, if you uh, live in a country where kosher meat is not available, aside from the fact that you should move, uh, you obviously don't have the obligation of eating meat. But if you do have kosher meat available to you, then you should eat meat. That's how uh, the Gemara says a, uh, the Jewish people enjoy a, uh, a holiday, a feast, in order to enjoy it. And that is in the morning. That is in the morning. And also after that, you have to do um, the uh, Mishloch Manot. Mishloch Manot, it's a uh, make sure to give uh, a, f- a piece of food and a drink uh, you and your wife and obviously any adult in your house needs to do the same thing. Uh, you cannot give the Mishloch Manot on behalf of your wife. She has to give her own. Uh, you could deliver it for her, but she has to have her own separate Mishloch Manot and vice versa. The wife can't uh, you know, have one Mishloch Manot for her and her husband. She has to have her own Mishloch Manot that she gives. You know, she can deliver it for him, but uh, he has to have his own Mishloch Manot. Women give to women, men give to men. It is inappropriate for women to give mishloch manot to men. And it's inappropriate for men to give mishloch manot to women unless they are, uh, you know, family. Unless it's a family, unless it's your brother, or it's your sister, or it's your parents, it's your children. Obviously, that's not a problem. But uh, co-workers and uh, things of that nature, it's not uh, really uh, appropriate to do it. If you're going to do that, uh, then make sure someone else delivers the Mishloch Manot and not you. Uh, you know, it's a, uh, there's, there's a uh, very thin line there and you obviously don't want to cross it. Um, aside from that, this is a uh, day that uh, it's... Um, Chachamim say that uh, anyone that comes to you asking for uh, a handout, uh, you know, money, any poor person that comes to you for a pour out, give it to them. Don't uh, ask any questions whatsoever, no verification whatsoever. This is a day that you want to be as generous as possible. So aside from doing the Matanot Le'ev Yonim, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, we have a campaign on our website. Uh, and also uh, you'll see probably uh, one of our team members uh, posted in the uh, thread, the Matanot Le'ev Yonim. We are giving our Matanot Le'ev Yonim, which is gifts to the poor. Uh, in Eretz Yisrael, we've, uh, Baruch Hashem, have succeeded uh, to get to uh, 300 uh, families of Avrechim. 300 families of Avrechim. So not only poor, but also Avrechim, which is a very, very high, the highest level of, uh, of, of gift. You know, to give to the poor is one thing. But the highest level of giving to the poor is to give to someone that's learning Torah. Uh, so all of those people that have contributed and are going to be contributing uh, to the Matanot Lev Yonim on our campaign. Uh, you can rest assured that it's going to be done tomorrow. Bezot uh, Hashem. If for uh, you know for uh, whatever reason uh, the uh, you guys uh, decide to start giving a whole lot more than what we can give tomorrow, then we could always give it the uh, the following uh, couple of days in Eretz Israel. So, uh, but the point being is is that uh, be as generous as possible during this time. This is obviously a uh, very big merit because one of the main things that uh, Chachamim say is that just like anyone that comes to you after the Beknesset and says, oh, can you give me something? Don't tell them, no, no, I already donated somewhere else. Don't do that. Bring cash with you and give it to people. Uh, you know, or better yet, you know, put some money into envelopes and already have a, a few envelopes, 5, 10, 20 envelopes ready with a uh, 10, 20, 30 dollars in there or more depending on your, uh, uh, on your financial circumstances. 
And as soon as somebody gives it to you, give them the envelope, say, Purim Sameach, and move on with your life. You've just fulfilled the mitzvah. Why should you be so generous? Because this is a auspicious day to ask Hashem for whatever you want. Because just like we are generous with others, anyone that comes to us, we give it to them. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, anyone that comes to me, I'm going to give it to them. If you want a child, ask for a child today. If you want a panasa, ask for a child, ask for panasa today. You want a zivug, ask for zivug today. This is the day. Purim is the day. So don't waste your time getting drunk and forgetting who you are. Uh, you know, make sure that uh, you pray during this day. Make sure that you learn Torah during this day. And really, this is a day that uh, very few people learn Torah. This is why we actually just made an investment today, Baruch Hashem, the Siyat uh to give uh, money to uh, 150 Avrechim to learn Torah for a few hours on Friday. On Friday, Be'ezrat uh, Hashem, we had a, Baruch Hashem, a whole team of people, 150 Avrechim, perhaps maybe even a little bit more, are each going to get a little bit of extra money uh, to learn on Friday with Tani Dibu, really serious learning, not just learning, uh, you know, a, a, a basic stuff. They're not going to be watching one of my shiurim. They're going to be learning serious stuff on Friday to make sure there's more and more Torah uh, being learned. Uh, anyone that wants to contribute to that is more than welcome. You don't, you don't have to. But uh, when uh, there's an opportunity to get people to learn Torah, an opportunity to do mitzvot, and even more so to help people uh, that are avachim that are needy, we take it. No questions asked. So, uh, and again, of course, we deal with people that we know, so it, uh, it makes life much easier uh, as far as uh, not being worried about, uh, you know, uh, giving it to the right people. Is he really going to learn? Is he not going to learn? All that stuff is not uh, is not of question simply because we've already done the research and all that. So, with that uh, being said, you have a uh, Purim uh, continue. You have the uh, the meal. You have the Mishloach Manot. You have obviously, if uh, you have some children, then uh, make sure that they uh, you make it a very festive day. Get them some costumes. Have a great time. If you haven't bought costumes, go buy them. Don't be cheap. Uh, make sure your kids enjoy the holidays. If your kids do not enjoy the Jewish holidays, like it's the greatest day that the world has ever uh, had, then your kids are not going to want to be Jewish when they grow up. You have to make sure that the kids enjoy the holidays. This is not a time to uh, think about your investments or your job or anything else. You have to make sure to spend time with your kids, have a good time uh, with them, and uh, spend your money. Spend the money that you work for. This is what money is for. Money is for you to invest it into mitzvot. Uh, so uh, get the kids some holidays, some uh, some uh, costumes. If you want to get yourself a costume, by all means, it's a there is a uh, some chachamim that discuss it. That there is a custom uh, to get costumes. It's not an obligation, uh, but make sure that your costumes are kosher costumes. Meaning, if your costume is provocative. Don't wear it under any condition, even if somebody tells you that I'm going to give you a million dollars. Do not wear a costume that's provocative. Don't make wear a costume that's insulting. Uh, you know, it's a don't don't be stupid. Uh, it's it's not a day to be stupid. Uh, a lot of people, for some reason, choose this day to be stupid, where they wear all types of uh, awful costumes, whether it's a uh, uh, dressing like a Nazi or like a uh, prostitute or uh, whatever it is, this is definitely not the day. Not the day to do it. Uh, if someone, uh, you know, that uh, is dressed like that, uh, you know, is in part of your community and uh, they ask you your opinion about what you think about their costume, you don't have to lie. Uh, you don't have to lie to them and tell them you, uh, you like it. You could tell them that you don't think it's appropriate. You don't have to go to town on them, but you have to, you know, you have to tell them that you like it. They, uh, again, it's a, uh, uh, but also make sure that they're receptive because sometimes people are so drunk they want to remember what you're saying five minutes, man. So don't waste your time. But the point is, is that it's a, uh, if you're going to wear a costume, make sure that you're wearing something fun, something funny, something that's a, uh, 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 most importantly, kosher. 
Uh, and uh, that's it. That's it. Have a good time. After that, get ready for Shabbat uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, you, uh, after you uh, have your, your meal, you give your Mishloach Manot, you take a nap. Take a nap in the afternoon for the guys uh, to take a nap during the afternoon and then wake up. And uh, then uh, obviously you could uh, you fulfill the mitzvah at the Rambam Paskins that you don't know who Mordechai is, you don't know who uh, Haman is. It's in essence just going to sleep. Take a sip of, uh, of wine if you want beforehand and then go to sleep. It's no, you don't have to get drunk to the point of forgetting your name. Uh, that's a mistake that people make. Uh, we have a video that we published a few days ago with uh, several Dole Adol discussing this topic about over drinking, Rav Uvadia, Allah Vashalom, Rav Gidon Ben Moshe Sheikhye, and others uh, that have talked about excessive drinking and how it's forbidden uh, and causes a lot of problems. This is not a day to make sins, Rabotai. It's not a day to make sins. If you can't learn Torah during that day, and if you can't learn Torah at the very least, try not to make sins. It's not a day to make sins. Uh, get ready for Shabbat. Enjoy Shabbat. Shabbat is normal Shabbat. Uh, it's a uh, you know it's a uh, another wonderful uh, Shabbat that you have to enjoy. And uh, that's it. That's that's the uh, that's the whole thing. Mm-hmm.